Uh, hi, this is Joe again with another movie review. And to continue my theme on Academy Award winning films, we will be discussing the Academy Award winning film of 1964 to stick with the 1960s. And that's the movie West Side Story. Um, that's the West Side Story. My Fair Lady. By Rex Harrison and Audrey Hepburn. And Rex Harrison holds one of the dubious distinctions of being, I think, well, six actors to have won the best actor for, for a Tony and the, a, an Academy Award for playing the same role. And I know my friends in, in the Cinephiles talking about the did a video on the favorite Oscar winning Oscar picks, Oscar winners. And one of them complained that Rex Harrison should not have gotten the Oscar for Best Actor and that Peter Sellers should have won for Dr. Strangelove. Well, I had never seen Dr. Strangelove, so I can't really compare the two, the two roles. But how can you argue that Rex Harrison did not consider the Academy Award for Best Picture for this role? Well, he played, plays a professor of speech, Henry Higgins, who takes on a challenge of teaching a flower girl played by Audrey Hepburn to speak perfect English. And of course the original is based on the original Broadway uh, play, the Runner and Roll play. And the original actress to play the part was Julie Andrews, not Audrey Hepburn. Uh, the only reason why Audrey Hepburn originally the role was offered to Julie Andrews. But she couldn't do it because she was also filming a little movie called Mary Poppins, which was filming about the same time as, or about the same time as uh, My Fair Lady, so she couldn't do it because she signed on to do Mary Poppins first. So Henri Hepburn stepped in and did the part. And of course, a little trivia, which I didn't put in for my review of uh, West Side Story. Was that Lanny Wood voice was dubbed? Every uh, I'm talking about the singing parts. Every time she has a scene, her character sang a song. Her voice was dubbed. And so was Audrey Hepburn's voice. But I think it was on a DVD version where you can hear not only the track you can hear Lanny Wood sing. And for the West Side Story DVD, and for what my fair lady. The same thing for Audrey Hepburn, you can hear her sing. Because they did perform the songs as they were filming the scene. They sync the audio with the movements of Audrey Hepburn's mouth and Natalie Wood's mouth. But the funny thing is that the singer who dubbed for both Audrey Hepburn and Natalie Wood was the same singer. Well, to the movie, as you of course throughout the film, he didn't have a lot of physical comedy in the film. Especially how she's trying so hard to, you know, do all these exercises to improve her speech. And Henry Higgins does all this crazy thing, putting the marble, putting marbles in her mouth. Having her strapped up through all these crazy, you know, machines and everything else. So she can improve on her speech. And of course, you might recognize for all you sci science fiction fans, you would, you would recognize uh, well, Alfred, Hi Alfred Hyde Wright, and of course, who was in the second season of Buck Rogers' television show, plays the guy who was made this bet with Rex Harrison's character. And of course, they, you know, more as the movie went on, uh, Alfred Hyde White's character became more and more sympathetic to Audrey Hepburn because she felt, or he felt, that Rex Harrison was being too abusive in his female of her. And throughout the movie, he was really overdoing it, you know, overplaying it. And of course, he uh, became more and more abusive, again, and as the film goes on, more and more hated. But if you by review if you viewing this. And of course there's one funny scene where Audrey Hepburn does this you know, does a song and Richardson dead and pretends that 
he, she kills him because of, it, because of all this abusive treatment. Of course, they do have some great songs in, you know, in in this film. And the one that steals this movie is Stanley. Let me get his name right. Stanley Holloway, who plays uh, Eliza's mother. Eliza is the only hamper character. He still he steals the scene, and I guess it does kind of become a distraction a little bit because you want to get. And, and, that, and Henry Higgins, who is the Rex Hamilton character. Because you want to get back to that, it becomes too long of a distraction for me. But those songs that, that Stanley Hollywood performs, it does as good as any other uh, scene in the entire film. And of course, he does the scene with going to get to the church on time. And of course, that's the other than the song in the beginning of the film, which Eliza sings, which was, uh, you know, it's lovely. Those are like two real big, big, two of the better songs in the film. Uh, the third one, the third best song was by the guy who Eliza meets at a racetrack. And he instantly falls in love with her, and of course, when they were in the film, he sings the song, as long as I'm on the street where you live. So, so that's the three best songs I feel in the entire film. And of course, there was another one that Rex Harrison does. But the interesting technique that Rex Harrison does, because Rex Harrison couldn't sing a lecker either. So what he does, he recites the words, like, you know, like he was reading Shakespeare. And the, unfortunately, he, for some reason, his voice was never dubbed for some, for some reason. Only, uh, only Hepburn's voice was dubbed and not his. So you can't have to really sing. But, but, but that's what they decided to do, and unfortunately, that for, for some reason, for Max Hamilton, it worked. Uh, they should have done something or to have him dubbed so they can have an actual singer to sing his songs. No, it worked, and he ended up winning the Academy Award anyway for this film. And, and the film also won. And also will make it two years in a row that that, that that musical would win the Oscar for Best Picture because the very next year, uh, Sound of Music came out, which we're going to do a separate video of. In 1965, that won for Best Picture. I think the 19s, it might be wrong, but I think the 1960s had the most uh, musicals that won for Best Picture. You see, you had, I think I saw you for 61. What my feeling for six, 1964, 65 was, um, and I said, Sound of Music, and then 1969 was out, was was the musical Oliver, and then from then on, you didn't have another musical winning Academy Award for Best Picture to Chicago in 2000, I think 2003, 2002, 2003, something like that. And so the 60s was like the corner age of, of, of musical films. And then pretty much died. Like for a very long time, we had very few uh, musical movies that that came out. You know, like few, few and four between. But my feeling is simply one of the best ones if you never checked it out. And don't be afraid if you if you're not gay. Don't be afraid of not check of checking the musicals out. I mean, come I mean, come on. I think it's one of the most underrated and most picked on. Uh, genres in movies. Well, like I said, this is definitely one of the better uh, films that came out for, for the musical era. And it's definitely for, for like Little and Low, so this is, this is one of the better musical films that ever came out. And like I said, if you haven't seen it, check it out. There's a lot of comedy in it. And it's more like an intellectual uh, I'm gonna say it's an int intellectual film because whether being British or in England and anything else. But like I said, the original part was supposed to be Julie Andrews in the Audrey Hepburn role. But this is the film that, other than Breakfast at Tiffany's, this is one of the two films Audrey Hepburn is really known for. 
And of course, for years we only had one uh, died back in the 90s. I forgot when she, actually, actually when she died. Then they call her, or the death of a fair lady. My fair lady died. Because she was in the movie. More people remember the movie versions than the uh, Paul, who originally played the Paul of Broadway. You may have a release. Which we might get into if I ever review you know, review the, the movie version of Greece and I will bring up what I'm talking about then. So that's my review for for my film. Please check out my videos. My other films. My other videos I have done on other reviews. And please subscribe to my channel and please like and feel free to comment down below. And thank you for watching.